All right, so name is John. This is one of my very first videos in my uh, fishing series. And um, I'd just like to welcome you to the channel. Right now, I am on my way to go and pick up my brand new sea -Doo Fish Pro 2021 model. Um, I'm very excited and to share my experience, I've, um, I'm going to pick it up with my kids. I've got in total five kids, right? Like five. But, um, but anyway, I can't wait to see how excited they are. I think they'll be more excited than me. So here we go. All right, here we are. JSW Power Sports on the Gold Coast. Getting ready to go pick up my new jetski. Check it out. And the kids have no idea. There, the kids. Hey, kids. Hey. Guess what? I'm picking up my jet ski today. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? It's <laughs> supposed to be. All right. All right. So here she is. As you can see, all my kids are on it. Uh, before me, definitely. Um, kids, say hello. Hi. All right. You know it's my toy, right? Not yours, right? Look at that little one. Oh my goodness. All right. Who's ready for to go fishing with Dad? Hey. There you go. All right, we're gonna take off this Garmin cover because we saw on another YouTube video that they fly off. So let's take that off. Are you safe? All right. See my speakers. All right. Okay, Nikki. With your permission, can I record yes, this? All right, okay, Nikki from JSW on the Gold Coast. To give okay. us a review, tell we me will. what to do. Okay, so two levers at the front here. It's yep. gonna open up your storage. So you pull those levers back towards you. That's gonna open up your main storage compartment. Yep. In your main storage compartment, you've got your little um, bin organizer that comes with it, owner's manual, any corrosion spray, which will be for your engine bay, which I'll run through that with you. Um, you've got your extras that you've included, obviously. Yep. Um, navigation lights. Now you can wash in here. There is drain holes in here when the bungs are at the back. So right, when I show right. you the bungs are, that explains you yep. can rinse in here. With the navigation lights, are they already pre-installed, ready to go, or do I just put them on yep. there? Yeah. So it has the. Is it like a suction cap? It's a little mount that goes in that locks on and off. Okay, oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Um, so it is locked in and out. I think they just need batteries because they're all battery right, operated. Right, right, right. Okay? Got it. So sticking everything in there for you. Yep. We've got the fuel. Yep. Okay, um, it does say E10 in there. I don't recommend E10. 98, 95 or 91. Yep. I do recommend 98. Totally up to you what yep. you want to put in there. Okay. When filling up, nice and slow at the bowsers. They do splutter and splurge a little bit. So yep. nice and slow, once it clicks, it is full. It takes a max of 70 litres. 70 litres. Yep. Got it. Okay. And uh, quick question. So obviously you're never going to use all the pet the fuel at once. So is it okay, like, it's just sitting there and stuff? Or? Yeah, look, I don't recommend it, like, six months at a time yeah, sitting in there. Yeah, fair enough, yep. But yes, gotcha. Fine, okay? Yep. Um, when closing this, you Fingers. need to be nice and firm, okay? So... Nice and firm so it closes properly. Yep, got it. Second compartment, one lever in here that pushes in, opens up. Yep. In here is where you've got your fully waterproof phone compartment, okay? Yep. That's 100% waterproof. And then you have your key. Yep. All oh, right, yep. Now your key is only programmed to your jet ski. Yep. So it's going to be like your car key, don't store your key with it when storing it. Yep. For theft reasons, okay? Yep. Always Yep. The key is going to disconnect, the engine is going to stop, the ski is not going to take off again. Yep. Key, so, yep. straight underneath the handlebars, this pushes on nicely. Yep. And also underneath your handlebars, you have a lever there that's going to adjust your handlebars up and down. Yep. Okay? Always make sure it's clicked in before taking off. Yep. Now, if you press your start stop button once, your dash will turn on. Yep. Now we have your dash on. You've got your fuel on your left hand side, your kilometers to empty, 
trip and hour meter. Speed will be in the middle. Forward, neutral, and reverse yep. show up in here. And then you have your variable trim system. So your variable trim system for the front of the ski is going to be sitting in the water. Yep. Okay? The two bars means it's in the middle. If you want to move it around, it's your two BTS buttons on your handlebars. Right. How do you know how much fuel you got left? So on here, your bars. Yep. So that will go down. And then obviously your kilometers will tell you when it's empty. So that will drop down. Okay, that's how many kilometers you got left till empty. Yep. So right now, it's got a bit of fuel in there, yep. right? Yeah. So uh, 89 have, kilometers you got. Yeah. How do you know how many liters you got in there? So, well, you won't know exactly how many liters, but I mean, all right, so it's three quarters. Liters, three quarters, so yeah. Okay, how many, how do you know how many hours you've done? Yep, so obviously you got your trip and hour meter here. Yep. To change it to your hour meter, you have to go into your settings. Right, okay. So your settings is pressing across on your handlebars. Yep. Cross arrow, or come up settings on your dash, that's when you hit OK. Yep. The first one comes up is accessories off. So you can turn all your accessories off and float you in the water to save your battery if you want to. Right. Next one is your trip meter. So using that, your up and down arrows will make change your setting. So if you go up and down, you'll see it changes that to your hour meter. So it puts right. 0, 0.0 hours on it. Yep. We can leave it on there. Range, you can change to minutes, you can change to nothing, or you can change to kilometers. Right here, yep. Learner key yep. doesn't exist in that. Units. Kilometers or miles, brightness, yep. Yep. clock, okay? Yep. Okay, so the battery, we've got it rewired yes, for two dual batteries, battery. dual batteries. That's correct. So that means that uh, the first battery, the main one, would uh, use it for powering up the jet ski, and the second one is for electronics, and then it will load. No, so what it does, it runs all that. If that one goes, it starts using that battery back up. Okay, but when one gets used, they both get charged up at the same yeah, time? that's correct, yeah. Yep. All right, cool. Um, okay, levers, it always starts in neutral, Yep. okay, your right hand lever is your throttle lever. Yep. Hitting that, tapping that once is going to initiate forward gear. Yep. If you want to go back to neutral, yep. after you've been in forward gear, yep. left lever once. Yep. All the way in for reverse, holding yep. it in. Do you just tap twice to go reverse, no. to kick it in, or hold all it? All the way in, all right. holding okay. it. Okay, right. As soon as you let go, it goes back to the gear that you were wearing previously. Oh, right. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's yep. all right. It runs as a brake as well. All right, okay? yes, yes. So yes. taking it in the throttle, bringing this yep. in once and letting it out is going yep. to stop the vessel quite quickly. Yep. Bear in mind not to be trying to turn the corner when putting the brakes on, okay? Yep. yep. Um, because it does stop quite quickly. Okay, cool. I'll test it out. Yep. Um, all right. Uh, how do you flush? Yeah. How do you flush it after a big yeah. day? I'll do all that and then I'm going to talk about the hand on the right. hand lucky your modes right. first and yep. then your cruise control and then we'll go to the back of the ski, okay? Hey? All right. So, it always starts in touring mode. You've got sport and eco mode. Yep. Sport's very similar to touring, same top speed. Just gonna be a little bit more aggressive, okay? Eco, restricted speed, better fuel consumption. Yep. Your mode button. So if you hit that once, once it's turned on, it will go sport mode. If that's the mode you wanna go into, you have to hold it down to activate. Yep. If you press it again, it'll go eco on. You press it again, it'll go eco off. It means it goes back to touring. Yep. Okay, this is your cruise control button. Yep, that's the what they call what um, trolling mode. Trolling mode. Yeah. Yep. So, trolling mode, cruise control mode. It does a max of six knots. Yep. Okay. So, skis on. It's in forward gear. You hit your cruise control button. It's gonna say low speed cruise control. Set your speed. Yep. You've got nine levels. Level nine is gonna be six knots. You use your arrows up and down to go up to what level you want to go. Yep. And then hit OK. Okay, so it goes by knots. Fantastic. All right. Um. You've also got your IDF button. So that's yes. your jumping system. Yes. Okay? There's an IDF button there. There's a few steps that you have to follow through. Yep. I do suggest using it the first time you go out so you know how to use it. Right. Okay? You have to turn the ski off and then hit your IDF button. Oh, turn it off, then if have it on. If you press right. it, it will tell you turn off and then press it. Right. That's cool. Follow the steps through on the dash. It'll tell you exactly how to run it. Right. One more thing at the front while we're talking. You've got your speakers on both sides. Yep. Your control setting is on this side. Yep. Play pause is your power button. Okay? Yep. Pressing that's gonna turn it on. Yep. It'll be BRP remote in your phone on Bluetooth. Yep. Once I've downloaded the app. Yeah, once it's connected, it'll always be connected. Okay. Um if you leave your speakers running while on the beach. Will automatically shut down your speakers before it flattens your battery. Okay? Yep. So there was always enough charge to start it back up and keep the charge all back up. Okay? Great. Starting your ski, start 
stop button, is your start stop button. Yep. Holding that for about three seconds, we're going to turn it on. <laughs> Same thing, turning it off, or you yep. can pull your key off. Right. right. Okay. Now, the back of your ski. Oh, You've got an area here to put a ski pole in. We've also put your um, nav light connection for your back. Okay, yes. where the pole goes in for your white light at the back. You've got a second link system, fuel caddies, eskies, and all that kind of stuff. Lift them up to use them. Pinch both sides to push them back down. Yep. Your esky. Really easy and simple to use. You've got two locking systems on either side. You'll see they've got their, when it's locked and unlocked, lift them up, pull them over to unlock, you then can take it off. Right. You've got a toe point under here as well. Yep. Okay. And your second link system. Yep. To put this back on, that was oh, some that's grease. A bit yeah. of grease. Great. Uh, if you grab it, you have to wait till it drops down. Okay. Push it all the way forward so it can't push anymore. Yep. And lock it back on. That's Fantastic. It. Rear boarding step. You need to get up and on, okay? Yep. And here comes all the important things. Right. You have got a bung on either side underneath your boarding step, okay? Yep. Exactly the same bung on each side. They're yep. screw in and out. These are the bungs you take out when you're washing the ski to drain any water out of the hole. Also the bungs you put straight back in, because if you put in the water without the bungs, you will have to <laughs> sink in your ski. So <laughs> On your other side is where your flushing point is. Yes. It's so. a normal hose connector. Yep. Flushing your ski is very easy. You need to have your ski running. Yep. Turn your ski on, connect the hose, turn the water on. Once the water's on, let it run for one to two minutes. Once you get to that point, take the hose off, give it a couple little revs, turn the ski off. Okay, so let me get that this yep. right. Firstly, I'll plug it in without the water turned on, yep. right? Start her up, mm -hmm. then turn on the water, yep. and let it run for a few minutes to flush it out, yep. and then turn off the water, yep. unplug it while it's still on, yep. and then give it a couple of revs to let out all the yep. water, and then turn it off. That's correct. Done, yeah. Rule of thumb, don't start your jet ski in shallow water. Right. Okay, they're a vacuum cleaner. Gotcha. They're gonna suck anything off the ground. So how high? Knee, knee deep? At least knee deep. Got okay? it. Okay. Um, if you're pulling into the beaches, give it a bit of throttle, turn the ski off, yep. gliding. And just sliding. Yep. yep. Gotcha. Leaving, push it out, then start it. Yep. Got it. Washing the ski. You can wash absolutely anywhere. Right. Okay. When them bungs are out, you can wash in the front storage, in your engine bay. Everything's got to drain at them bungs. Okay? Right. And the drains are already, um, it's unplugged already, right? They're all in, free draining already? In your front storage and yes. stuff, yes. Yes, okay. correct. It's only the bungs at the back that you that's have right. to screw. Yep. So, the more fresh water on the ski, the better it's going to be for you. Right. Okay? Um, salt residue gets everywhere. Yep. So, good idea to do it in your engine bag. Any specific salt, uh, salt remover, or just use a bit of detergent, a bit of warm water, should be enough. Yeah. Done. You can use salt ways you can use any salt washes and stuff like that but if you wash it quite regularly with fresh water and just a matter. boat yep. wash or a car wash it's going to be good okay okay so taking the rear seat off you've got two push buttons on either side yep just a quick question as well. Yep. Let's say we take it out on a Saturday and want to take it out on a Sunday. Do you need to flush it and wash it the very next day? I would at least flush it that night Yep. and then wash it okay. all the next day. Yep. All right, got okay. it. One handle on the front seat. Now you can also run if you're going out John by yourself without the rear seat. Yep. So you have a bigger platform for fishing. Yep. If not, one handle on the front seat, you're in your engine bay. Yep. Now, oil, coolant, and your battery, okay? Now, you shouldn't have to, they don't use oil or coolant for no reason. Yep. They will fluctuate depending if it's hot or cold. If you're servicing it regularly and all the rest of it, you should have to check it, okay? Done. Now, How do often you, do you need to service it? First service is 20 hours. Yep. After that, it'll be every 50 hours from then or once a year. Right. Now washing in here, don't you don't want high pressure water, so water, so don't use gurneys or anything like that. Get your hose, 
give it a good rinse everywhere you can reach. Okay? After every after every session, I give it a slight it. rinse yeah. yes. and I a spray. Yeah. yeah. So give it all a good rinse, wash your whole ski down. If you're using soapy water, wash your soap it down. Chuck some soapy water in there, rinse it all back down. Once you finish rinsing and washing, put your bungs back in. Once it's dried again, use your anti corrosion spray that we've given you and give anything metal in here that you can reach a nice spray. Okay. Don't drown it, but give it a nice spray. Yep. Now, if you are washing in there, I do recommend trying to leave your seats off just to let it air out. There yep. always will be a little bit of water in there, it's fine. You just want to let it air out to keep the moisture out of it. Yep. Okay? If you want to put your cover on and leave your seats all together, you can put your seats sitting up like that. Yep. Okay, it will sit like that. You've got some nice airflow that's still going through there. Yep. Okay, if not, seats go on nose first. There we are. Make sure that clicks in. Your rear seat follows. Always make sure it's locked in. Right. Cool. That's nearly everything. Make sure you wash your trailer does go in salt water okay so it does need to be washed as well yep not a problem yeah. all right guys so there you have it it's my brand new sea 2021 fish pro i'm ultra excited i'm ready to um, share my fishing adventures and and all my fishing experience with you guys um, this is the first time i am on a jet ski fishing so i'm looking forward to that journey so um you know if you want to be part of that journey don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a big thumbs up. Thank you so much.